Windows interface is not about productivity. It's about forcing you to do more and more clicks, opening levels of menu, scrolling to find the most necessary settings. This trend is getting progressively worse even for simple things. For example, in all previous versions up to Windows 10, you could right-click any file in File Explorer once to see the entire menu. In Windows 11, however, the default right-click menu lacks many features, and to open the full menu, you need to first right-click, then left-click, and then left-click again to access the feature you need. However, this video is about proxy settings. Most users who use a single internet connection usually don't need to change this setting. If your internet connection requires a proxy, you will have it set up and enabled all the time. And in many cases, you don't even need to configure the proxy since there is an auto configuration mode. And if your internet connection doesn't require a proxy, you may not even know about this setting. However, for quite a significant amount of users, especially laptop users, switching the proxy on and off is a regular thing. For example, I have a company-issued laptop, and whenever I am at my desk in the office, I connect it to the network using Ethernet. That connection requires a proxy. However, when I undock my laptop and connect to the company Wi-Fi, that connection doesn't require a proxy. And when I work from home, I also don't have a proxy. So basically, even within one day, when I am going around my office, I need to turn the proxy on and off several times each day. And same goes for college students, for example. Very often at the dormitory there is no proxy or there is proxy, and in class there is a proxy or there is no proxy, and when you go to a coffee shop there is no proxy, and if the proxy is turned on while well, the connection doesn't require it, the internet will not work. So you will have to switch the proxy on and off multiple times a day. To do that in Windows 10, for example, you need to do a lot of clicks by going into Internet Settings, and then you will, in many cases, need to scroll down to actually see the proxy toggle and toggle it on or off. In Windows 11, you don't need to scroll, but you need to do almost as many clicks, if not more, to access this setting. This should be a simple toggle in the taskbar tray, but no, you need to do lots of clicks to access this setting. Probably, there are some third-party utilities that potentially can easy up this process. However, since I am on a company laptop, I am first not allowed to install any unapproved software, and second, I cannot do that since I don't have administrative privileges. So I cannot install or even change anything on the laptop issued by my company. However, there is a solution. Basically, it involves creating two batch files. Batch files are text files with commands, they have a .bat extension, and when you click them, they run those commands. So what we will do is create two text files. One of them will be called proxyon.bat, it has to be .bat, not .txt, and the other one proxyoff.bat. Actually, you may want to create the text files first, edit them using Notepad, and then rename them to .bat. In this case, it will be easier to open those files with Notepad. So these are two batch files. Inside the first one, we will enter these commands. Basically, they set up a registry setting, then directly access the um, networking menu to make Windows actually recognize that setting, and then kill that menu. Even though I am not an admin on this computer, since we are dealing with the user registry, there is no problem changing this registry value without administrative privileges. The other file which will turn the proxy off is exactly the same, the only difference is the registry value is 0, which means the proxy is off, as opposed to 1, which means the proxy is on, and that is what we used in the previous file. So basically you put those two files on your desktop, for example, and whenever you run either of them, proxy will be turned on or off depending on the name of the file. So if you run the proxy on.bat, the proxy will be turned on. If you run it again, the proxy will be still on. And if you run proxy off, the proxy will be turned off and whatever setting will be automatically activated. So I tested these two files on both Windows 10 and Windows 11 
and they do toggle the proxy on or off, no problem, without the need to run them as admin. You will have to tolerate this flashing of the Windows settings menu, there is no way to get around that. However, if you don't want the actual text file to be displayed on your screen, you can change the properties of both batch files to be run minimized. So whenever you click on them, they will stay in Windows taskbar and not pop up a window. However, you cannot set batch files to be run minimized in Windows. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? Because Windows being Windows. What you have to do is to first create a shortcut for that batch file and then you can select in the properties of that shortcut for it to be run minimized. And also here you can set up keyboard hotkeys that will call this file. All of them will be Ctrl Alt and you can choose any letter, for example Ctrl Alt P to run one of the files and Ctrl Alt O to run the other one. So these are these two files. The commands could be found on my website if you click on the link in the video description. And I've been using them for over two years now. They work perfectly and I never had any problems with my company IT security. So most probably they don't violate anything and they are very, very handy in your day to day. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, jingle bells.